This video is brought to you by the EA Game Changers Network. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Germany to record some FIFA 19 content for you guys. Let's get right into today's video. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the PSG Career Mode series. This is episode number 7 and we are in the quarterfinals of the Champions League and we have drawn Barcelona. Some of the other draws as well in the Champions League are just insane. There's just no upsets. It's all the top teams now in the final eight. City, Madrid, Liverpool, United, Barca, PSG, Bayern, Juventus. It's actually crazy. Last episode, we knocked out Atleti in two of the most intense games I've played on FIFA 19. And against Barca, it's probably going to be the same. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. If you guys can smash out six... 100 likes that would be absolutely amazing your support on this series has just been immense so keep showing your support and if you're watching my videos for the first time make sure to subscribe for more fifa 19 career mode content before the games against barcelona though we've got a derby la classique as it's called psg versus olympique de marseille and the fact that Marseille are second in the league, it just makes sense to play the game. Yes, we've got a big lead over them, but I just wanted to play the game, get a feel before, you know, getting right into that Barcelona game because it's always better to warm up at the start of the episode. So we're going to be treating this as the warm up, although I'm going with a very strong team, so I also expect to get the result. Let's hope we can get the job done before jumping into that Barcelona game. PSG versus Marseille at the Parc des Princes. Let's get the job done. I have made a few changes to the lineup. Though the likes of Kim Pembe, Kurzawa, Lo Celso all get opportunities as Mbappe bamboozles the defender. Elastico inside gets the shots off. Keeper makes the save. But Neymar on the rebound puts it right into the back of the net. Great goal from Neymar. But that was all Mbappe. He's just so good. Look at the animation of the defender just getting destroyed there. It was just brilliant to watch. And Neymar getting the job done on the rebound, who is, of course, our top scorer right now, which is really nice to see. Also, Champions League begins in real life later tonight. Let me know who you're backing to win the Champions League this season. As a Barcelona fan, I'm always going to say Barcelona, but I'd love to know what teams you guys are backing in the Champions League this season. As Marseille do score a brilliant header. Cross was great. And Marseille have equalized, making it 1-all in the 26th minute. We've got enough time to try and get ourselves into the lead. We've got to be patient. In the 33rd minute, some good build-up play. Verratti finds Cavani. Cavani now to Neymar. Neymar back to Verratti. Some great link-up play. Lo Celso gets the shots off. And this guy is a bit of a gem. If you get the opportunity to sign him in FIFA 19, go for it. I know he's joined Real Betis on loan, apparently. So it might actually be difficult signing him in the first season, but he's just such a quality player. He scored practically every time I've given him an opportunity. What a talented footballer. And this one, I think, was with his weak foot as well. Left foot, decent finesse shot, somehow managed to squeeze that one in. 48th minute, let's see if we can create another opportunity and maybe put ourselves 3-1 up before half time. As in Golo Conte on the ball, chips the ball to Los Celso, who wallies it first time. What a sensational attempt from the Argentine but it hits the crossbar take a look at that replay it just looked so good that's one thing I'll say FIFA 19 gameplay some of the animations they've added this year they really look good and the new flick system there didn't really work out for me but we do win the ball back as Neymar gets it ball rolls past one what was the defender doing there finds Cavani the defender goes sliding in but Cavani's shot does get eventually blocked by one of the Marseille defenders and here go Marseille again on the attack 64th minute they really want to get back into this game Marseille now on the attack let's see what they can produce from this how in with the shot brilliant attempt with that left foot of his we know he's a really talented player and we've got to be careful in these final few minutes of this game otherwise he could really cause damage cross played in Marseille again on the attack could be a chance now decent volley from one of the Marseille players thankfully for us it was way above the crossbar 67 minutes and we are still leading to one but Marseille are really providing us with a challenge and if Marseille are doing so Barcelona will as well so we've got to try and fix up as you guys can see now Marseille on the attack what is our defense doing Conte and Kimpembe what were they doing there I have absolutely no idea I mean I just don't even know what to say because they were literally just walking into each other while the Marseille player just then took the ball, crossed it in, nothing our defense could do. 
Oh man, I hope that doesn't happen against Barcelona. It's okay for it to happen now, considering we have a huge advantage in the French League. Imagine that happening in a Champions League game against Barcelona or something like that. That would have been really harsh. Thankfully, it happened in the French League game and now we can just forget it and move on and potentially get the job done against, of course, Barcelona. We are still in the quarterfinals of the Coupe Nationale, which we are going to be simming against Montpellier. Um, we get through this game and, of course, as we have done so, Neymar, Marcelo and Munir getting us the goals. We are now in the semi-finals of this competition. We got knocked out out of one domestic tournament, so winning this one would be immense. If we do get to the finals, of course, we're going to be playing that game. Until then, we're going to be simming that competition. We do sim this one against Toulouse, a one-all draw away from home. We do manage to beat Strasbourg in uh, the French League. As you guys know, we are going to be simming a lot of the French League games so that we can focus on the Champions League. And again, for those of you guys who aren't aware, these videos were recorded in Berlin at the FIFA 19 captured event, which means that I didn't really have, you know, like unlimited amount of hours on the game. So I had to record this series in a very short amount of time. So that is why I am simming quite a few games. But right now we are top of the French League with 71 points, which is brilliant. But it's now time to focus on the big one. Barcelona versus PSG. The first leg is being played away from home against Atleti. We lost the first leg. That is something I want to change in this one against Barcelona. If we can nick a result here away from home against Barcelona, back at the Parc des Princes, we could really challenge them. We are not the favourites in this tie, so we've got to be careful. We've got to defend really well in this game. And of course, take our chances when required. Because against Barcelona, we cannot afford to waste chances. This is... Effectively the biggest game of this series so far and I'm really hoping we can deliver on this Lineups will be out soon, but for now just take in the atmosphere. It's a Champions League quarterfinal You've got the anthem. You've got the flag at the back It's just incredible and as you guys can see now the PSG players as well Barcelona player faces don't really look updated. That is something I've noticed Maybe it's because of the Barca deal with Pez. Anyways, this is Barcelona's team. I do not know why PK is captain, um, I mean it should be Messi, but anyways, Coutinho, Suarez, Messi, Arturo Vidal, Sergi Sampa, interesting choice, Busquets, Alba, Umtiti, PK and Sergi Roberto. Barcelona have a good team, their front three is frightening, but so is ours. This is the team that I've gone for, Rabio in midfield, Modric in midfield, I've dropped Verratti for this game just to give us that extra dominant player in midfield. Kante is going to be our CDM. Neymar, Cavani and Mbappe up front. Marcelo, Thiago Silva, Marquinhos. And of course, Munir at the back. And we've got legend himself, Gigi Buffon in goal. But Barcelona looking ruthless. First chance for them in the third minute itself. Yes, Felipe Coutinho on the attack. Still Coutinho holds out the play well. Can he put in a cross and he gets past me with these brilliant dribbling from the Brazilian. Find space, puts in the cross to Messi, and that's what Leo Messi does. He punishes you. That's the start we absolutely did not want, but we've got to deal with it. We are 1 0 down to PSG within four minutes. Brilliant, brilliant from Felipe Coutinho there. And the cross to Messi, perfect. And of course, you expect Messi to bury that, and he's done exactly that. Barcelona have been relentless in these early few 15 minutes of this game, as Marquinhos should have easily cleared that. But he couldn't and the ball just found its way to Arturo Vidal and what a strike that was. 2-0 down already in under 12 minutes. I told you guys, ultimate difficulty in the Champions League against the big sides is not a cakewalk. And that is what's going to make career mode this year a lot of fun. It feels like winning the Champions League is a huge task in career mode, which hasn't been the case in the last four or five editions of FIFA, so I'm really happy about that. But I'll be even happier if we can get back into this game, but Neymar's shot wasn't really the best, and the scoreline remains 2-0 to Barca. We quickly need to score to, you know, get something out of this game. Again, terrible defending. Suarez gets a chance to score for PSG. Thankfully, Marcelo on the line does clear the ball away, as here's Leo Messi gets tackled this time. Conceding a third before halftime would have been game over for us, but we might have a chance here just before half time. Here's Luka Modric, our new signing. Cavani, now Neymar. Neymar to rub your big chance for the Frenchman. I trusted him instead of Verratti and he's not repaying that trust. Rabiot really should have converted that chance 
Now in the second half, hopefully we can get an early goal because that certainly would help us. Marcelo now out wide, what a chance for the Brazilian, he certainly would enjoy scoring against this Barcelona side, but... His shot was saved by Ter Stegen, who's just been brilliant in this game. This could be our chance now. Mbappe, what an opportunity. And Ter Stegen again. Is this guy human? Honestly, with the chances we've had, it could have easily been 2 all. But Ter Stegen is just a bit of a beast. Kante now on the ball. Come on, this could be our chance. Cavani, what a run that is from Cavani. Can he score this time? Yes, he can. Ter Stegen beaten finally. As it's game on against Barcelona, 2-1 down only, we've got the away goal as well, so this wouldn't really be the worst of results to take at the Parc des Princes, but getting another goal, that would be immense for us, so I'm really hoping we can do that, because then we have the advantage going into the second leg at the Parc des Princes, because then Barcelona need to score, they're going to be opened up, so I'm going to go for that next goal, here's Marcelo, let's see if we can score that now, Marco Verratti on the ball, Verratti finds Mbappe, big chance for us, Luka Modric, surely he's going to score, no way, Luka, come on, we've paid about 50 million pounds for you, you can't be missing those kind of chances, ah, oh, that is, that's just really harsh, Luka, should be converting those like every single time from that position as well that's disappointing but Neymar could get us back in this game here's Neymar against his former side of course PSG paid that 220 million pound release clause for Neymar and now he's come back to haunt them and he's of course dancing at the camp now that certainly would have annoyed a ton of Barcelona fans but what a game of football though, the first half Barcelona destroyed me, they scored a couple of goals, they could have scored more, second half it was all about PSG, an extremely entertaining game, the end result is 2 all, which means in the second leg both teams have it all to play for, we keep the scoreline the same and we are through to the semi-finals of the Champions League, if Barcelona score things get extremely tricky. As you guys can see right now, Real Madrid City ended in a 0-0 result. Liverpool beat United 2-1, PSG Barca 2-all, Juventus Bayern went to Bayern 2-1. Some really, really interesting results. Now, before we get into the game against Barcelona, the second leg at home at the Parc des Princes, take a look at the top scorers of the Champions League. Neymar has overtaken Kevin Gamero from Valencia and Sadio Mane from Liverpool now with 7 goals. I'd love to see Neymar win the Champions League Golden Boot. Maybe he can score now against Barcelona to help his cause. This is the team that I've gone for. Verratti's back in the lineup now. I'm not risking Rabiot. He didn't really have the best of games, so it kind of makes sense trusting uh, in Verratti once again. That midfield of Verratti, Modric, and of course, um, uh, Conte could really help us in this game. Just running around, trying to win the balls back, and of course, put a lot of pressure on Barcelona. But it's time guys, Paris is magic, it certainly was against Atletico Madrid where we did manage to get the job done, but will it be magical again for us to get the job done versus a crazy crazy good Barcelona side. The anthem is in the background, it's, it's all kicking off here, the atmosphere is epic. This is our shot guys to find a spot in the Champions League semi-finals and this is the Barcelona squad and they have made a few changes here and there. It looks a lot stronger than the team we faced just a few minutes ago. They've put in Artur in there. Vidal Busquets, pretty similar. Coutinho, Suarez, Messi. Interesting to not see Usman Dembele. I kind of expected him to be, you know, coming up against us because he's pretty good in FIFA. Regardless, here we go on the attack. A chance for us to score early on in this one. Cavani, but PK puts in a great sliding challenge. Cavani goes tumbling down but the ref wasn't having it and here go Barcelona 27 minutes into the game keep in mind as the scoreline stands we are in this Champions League semi-finals so we've got to be really careful here's Jordi Alba on the attack goes for the shot thankfully Buffon does make the save with a big opportunity for of course Barcelona but Buffon comes in super clutch there to make the save from Artur I mean from that position Artur should be scoring but Buffon what a reflex save that was to keep us in this game. If we would concede now, scoring against this Barca side would just be insanely difficult because Barcelona are really good at keeping the ball in this game. So thankfully, we haven't conceded yet, but we could have easily conceded there as it was Coutinho getting the long shot off, if I'm not wrong. And we just know how good he is from outside the box. 
Ball given away though to Coutinho, finds Luis Suarez, cleverly does so by, you know, tricking a player, gets the shots off with his weak foot. Buffon does make the save, but Barcelona still on the attack, some nice link up play. Suarez with a big chance and somehow we try to get the ball away, but we cannot as the shot from one of the Barcelona players rattles the crossbar. It's been absolute insanity in this first half. Now in the second half though, I've switched to attacking to make the team more compact, but I'm not sure if it'll work or not. I just want more players to be in central positions so we can defend easily. As here now PSG on the attack, we have been awful in this game so far. We've kind of taken it for granted that we have the advantage, but here it might be a chance for us to score. Neymar with the perfect cross, but how on earth has Ter Stegen saved that? Someone needs to explain to me what do I have to do to actually beat Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. The guy makes insane saves after insane saves in every game. We really should have scored like 4 or 5 goals in this tie. If not for of course that man Ter Stegen, we would have been through already. He's just absolutely ridiculous. I've made a couple of changes because of fitness reasons. Let's hope it gets us through this game. Just 10 minutes guys. 10 minutes for us to hold on. Not like this. Not like this. I mean, come on. A rebound to send us out of the Champions League from Luis Suarez. Come on, man. That is so harsh. We defended fairly well up till about like the 80th minute. And then to concede that is just depressing. But guys, that is it for our Champions League run this year. We got knocked out to Barcelona. We didn't get knocked out by any random team. We got knocked out by one of the best teams in the world. And that is Barcelona. So we've got to take pride in that. I'm disappointed guys I couldn't deliver the Champions League in my first ever FIFA 19 career mode but honestly I think that is a positive. It means that it's not as easy as it was in the previous years to win the Champions League. It's gonna be an actual challenge so eventually when you do succeed and win the Champions League it's gonna feel really amazing like you've actually done something. So well I'm excited now we're gonna have a last episode tomorrow of this PSG series where we'll of course Try and get to the finals of the cup and also get done with the league. That's the plan for the final episode. And then once the full game launches, we're going to have a Barcelona career mode and all that good stuff. So that is it for today's episode. I'm disappointed getting knocked out by the Champions League, but it had to happen. Barcelona, just a brilliant team. But regardless, if you've enjoyed today's video, drop a like. If you're watching my videos for the first time, subscribe for more FIFA 19 content. I'll see you guys next time.